Hi everyone, Greg Wilkins back here with you with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Sunday, December 26th, 2021. As always, I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will help encourage, inspire, and motivate you, as well as put a smile on your face. Today's devotional is entitled, Keep It With You. Back in the 70s and 80s and probably sparsely through the 90s, there was a TV commercial by American Express pushing their traveler's checks. And they had various many different situations that was going on and all kinds of situations in which you had to go do something, but they wouldn't take Visa. They wouldn't take a, a MasterCard. So you had to have those traveler's checks to purchase what you needed to purchase or to get where you need to get. And I always had said at the end of it, American Express traveler's checks never leave home without it and it's a very good thing pretty good sense of humor and just want to remind you no matter where you go you can always get what you need to get with the american express traveler's checks so you should never leave home without it and that that holds true with a lot of things you should never leave home without your car keys because you never know what happens you, you might think that someone will be there to, to let you in but what if they leave and they lock the door and you don't have your keys so always keep your car keys with you always keep your wallet with you because you never know what you're going to need, especially if your your credit cards and your ID or whatnot's in there. And you may need to present that. That's another thing you got to keep with you at all times. Your identification, whether it be a driver's license or just a photo ID of some type or whatever, always keep that with you. I was always raised to keep a pen with you because you never know when you have to sign something. And sometimes the pens they have at like doctor's offices or whatever or particularly at banks are tied to those chains. And, and if you're left-handed, sometimes you have a difficult time trying to sign what you do, what, trying to sign what you need to sign with those pins attached to the chains. So you always keep a pin with you. There are many things and many examples of what we should keep with us at all times because you never know what's going to happen and when you may need it. Well, as we pass this Christmas holiday, at least by the calendar, We all reminisce on the great time we had on yesterday with our friends, our families, and our loved ones, seeing everybody gather around the table and just smile and share a meal together, fellowship with each other, and the expression of the looks on the faces of the children as they were unwrapping presents that were underneath the tree for them and how they were so excited and so giddy. And well, let's be honest, some of us adults were excited about the gifts we received as well. But as this day passes on the calendar, let us not wait another 330 something plus days or so to get ginned up and get ready and get excited to have that same spirit of Christmas, that same hope, that same joy, that same excitement, that same love, that same fellowship, that same kinship, that same goodwill towards all people. Let's not wait till December 1st or Black Friday in November to get that, get all excited about that again. In fact, we should strive at all times to keep that same spirit with us. After all, when Jesus came to this earth, he didn't come to give us love, peace, and a light to this world just for the day he was born. But he offered that light always, always to us, always at all times, so we can eradicate the darkness around us by remembering the hope that Jesus brought into this world. And by the love he shared with us to give us a hope and a drive and a purpose in our life, we can also share that same thing with somebody else on February 18th, on March 27th, on June 19th. We don't have to wait till Christmas Eve and Christmas Day or the week before Christmas or the weeks leading up to Christmas to hold that same spirit and to give that same kinship of sharing and caring for each other and worrying about each other and being kind to each other. We don't have to do that just in December and late November, but we should strive to hold that all throughout the year. And that brings us to today's feature song. Today's feature song is a beautiful song um, written by Anna Gilbert and performed by Peter Hollins. And the name of the song is December Song. The purpose of the song is to remind us that every December we get excited about the hope and the the hope and the peace and the goodwill towards men and the, the meals that we share with our families and the excitement of the children. And we hold on to those memories. But when December 26 comes along, like I said earlier, all we're concerned about is, all right, I don't like this sweater, so I'm going to go exchange it for something else. Or I don't like this, I'm going to take it back. We, t- we go start returning gifts and whatnot. Or we start worrying about how we're going to pay for all these gifts we just got. Or we start focusing on other things else. We just let that spirit 
and that joy and that happiness go all of a sudden on December 26th. And we don't get ginned up, we don't get excited about it until Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. But why do we have to wait? Let's keep that spirit with us. Let's keep that joy with us. Let's keep that excitement that that's only the holiday of Christmas can bring us. Let's keep it with us all throughout the year. We especially have it during during Christmas because we are remembering the birth of Jesus Christ. But Jesus wasn't just here for the birth. He's here with us always. The Bible reminds us, lo, I am with you always even until the end of the world. And so since Jesus is with us always, we should keep that spirit with us always. Keep that love with us always. Keep that peace with us always. Why should we keep it with us always? Because you never know who you're going to see or who you're going to encounter who may need that love, who may need that encouragement, who may need that peace that you have. So I encourage you on today. While on the calendar, Christmas has passed us, but in our hearts and minds, let Christmas stay with us always because Jesus is with us always. So let's keep that spirit, that love, that peace, and let's share it with everybody every day of the year. And let's keep it with us no matter where we go. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your birth. We thank you for the light that you're shining in this dark world. We thank you for the hope that you continue to give us every day. Lord, we pray that we don't just let this spirit and this hope and this drive falter because we're no longer on December 25th. No matter what day of the year it may be, Lord, encourage us and strengthen us to continue to share your love with all mankind, no matter if they don't look like us, no matter if they don't speak like us, no matter if they're not in our cliques, no matter if they're not with our same skin color, it doesn't matter because we're all children of the Most High God. So Lord, encourage us to share your love with one another and to love you and love ourselves as we love you and to love each other as we love ourselves as we love you. Because you called us to be lovers and friends to one another. And by this day, we should know that, there, that we are your disciples by the love we show one to another. Let's continue to show that love everywhere we go, everywhere we meet. Let the peace start with us and let it spread to each other all around the world with you being our help and you being our guide. In Jesus name, amen. As always, before we head out for the day, we want to wish some couple, some people some birthdays with some birthday shout outs. Happy birthday to Claire Medley. Hope you're doing well, Claire. And happy birthday to my pastor for the few years I was up in New Jersey. Happy birthday to Dr. Robert Augustus Jackson Jr. Dr. Jackson and Claire, I hope you're both blessed. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and I hope that you have a very blessed birthday and that God may bless you with many more. And as always, to send in your birthday shout outs as well as any comments, song requests, devotional topic requests, or a feature song or performance you would like to send in to see as a future part of the Daily Pause devotional. You may do so by leaving them in the comment section below this video or reach out to me at the, at the Daily Pause on Facebook or by email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. And if you don't mind, share this devotional with anyone you feel may be blessed or encouraged by it. A major shout out to Darius Witherspoon, who is playing today's background music, which is the song I'm Encouraged, originally composed and written by Thomas Whitfield and the Whitfield Company. I hope you're blessed. I hope that you continue to carry the love of Christmas with you wherever you go, because you never know who may need the, a, a shot or a sense of that love, that spirit, that happiness, and that joy. Continue to be... Ah, Continue to love each other, continue to be safe, and enjoy today's feature song of the day, December Song, performed by Peter Hollins and written by Anna Gilbert, off the album New Christmas, released in 2021 by One Voice Productions. Once again, continue to love each other, continue to be safe, and remember, every day there's always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Today's feature song starts right now. Take care and remember, keep the Christmas spirit with you because Jesus is always with us. So let's continue to keep his love, his joy, and his peace with us because we never know who we may need to share it with. God bless. Wishing well to all
Of my mind. 